Hello Sycamore, happy Thursday, February 16th, 2023. Welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Sam, and I'm here with... Hi, I'm Vector. We're so excited to have this great opportunity to join you on the daily video announcements. Now, let's please stand and place our hand over our heart and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Be sure to check those school emails. Be informed with important information, like the big gym schedule change this morning. Don't miss out on scheduling for next year as well. Yes, and be PIS responsible young adults. Be safe, be respectful, and be positive problem solvers. And do not enter the main office door March number three. Staff only. Mark your calendars. February 18th, the online scheduling window opens. February 16th, teacher requested parent teacher conferences, virtual or in person. That's tonight. February 20th, no school, President's Day. March 1st, the Cooper Road Bridge closes. If you ride your bike or walk on that bridge, you'll need to find a different route. Yes, mark your calendars. Next up, Mr. Brenner. Hello, everyone. This is an online scheduling message for 7th and 8th graders. Today, specifically for 7th grade, you are going to receive an email with all the instructions on how to do your online scheduling and pick your classes for next year. The biggest thing to know is that the scheduling window for online starts Saturday. So you'll get the email today, but you cannot log in until Saturday. But once that is open, you can go in, choose your courses, and you're going to have an entire week to do that all the way until the 26th. Um, eighth graders, you're going to get an email from the high school tomorrow, which is Friday. That will have your username and password so you guys can log in. Um, <clears throat> biggest thing, too, check your mailboxes at home. I know that's old school, but you'll also receive a hard copy of your username and password and how to do the online scheduling there as well. So if you like the hard copy, that's the way to go. Um, so just one more time again, starting this Saturday, the 18th, all the way to the 26th, that's when you'll do your online scheduling. When you log in, you will see all the recommendations that your teachers made for you. Those will already be pre-selected. So what you guys need to do are choose your music classes and any other electives that are going to fit in your schedule. Same as it is this year, it's made up of seven bells, so just make sure you choose enough courses to fill that. Um, if for any reason it does not work this weekend, don't panic. We are going to help you guys out with that, um, and we can help throughout all of next week. So we got plenty of time. Just make sure, though, you check your email for that username and password, and then test logging in this weekend. All right, we'll update next week, too, with any other reminders with all things scheduling. Have a good day, guys. Thanks, Mr. Brenner. Now to today's Black History Month recognition. The history behind Sammy Davis Jr. by Leland Anderson and Kyra Clark. Samuel George Davis Jr. was an American singer, dancer, actor, comedian, film producer, and television director. At age three, Davis began his career in vaudeville with his father, Sammy Davis Sr., and the Will Maston Trio, which toured nationally and his film career began in 1933. Born December 8, 1925 in Harlem, New York, New York State. He died in May 16, 1990 in Beverly Hills, California. His children were Tracy Davis, Manny Davis, Mark Davis, and Jeff Davis. That's a lot of kids. He also was a player. He, he married a lot of people. For example, there's Altovis Davis, married from 1970 to 1990. May Britt married 1960 to 1968. Larray White married 1958 to 1959. His parents were Sammy Davis Sr. and Elvera Sanchez. Place of the burial, Forest Lawn, California. I mean, as always, thank you for listening. If you want more, check out the Black History Month tab on the History Channel. Thank you and goodbye. Wow, thank you for those wonderful contributions and making a difference. Next up is me, Sam, with a new Magical Monday. Enjoy! I'm back, 
and we're here with our snowman results. Here we go. As you can see, my two friends here are very dressed up for the winter. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for filling out the surveys, and I will see you guys very soon. Speaking of magic, did you know? Did you know Hogwarts would look like an abandoned building to Muggles? What? Yeah, like all Harry Potter fans, if Muggles came across Hogwarts, it would only appear to look like an abandoned building with a keep out dangerous sign. Hey, where'd Sam go? Ah! I brought you flowers, Bector. Oh, thanks. Next up, National Day! Today is National Almond Day. Yes. On February 16th each year, National Almond Day recognizes the versatile and healthy almond. This delicious nut is native to the Middle East and thrives in warm, dry climates with mild winters. The day celebrates the benefits and uses of almonds. Next up, birthdays! Happy birthday to Aaron Z and Evelyn A. Celebrating today. Have a wonderful day. Now over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements on this rainy, rainy Thursday. All right, International Club, you're going to meet this Friday. So International Club, you're going to meet tomorrow, and your focus country is the United Kingdom. Softball, anybody want to play softball? Softball Open Gym has been canceled today due to unforeseen circumstances. So no softball open gym today. You are to go home after school. So no softball today. Go home after school. We the people, for those peeps that were here this morning, please drop by room 200 for your donuts today. They were forgotten temporarily in the craziness of the morning. First come, first serve. Don't forget that for next, ple next week, complete the graphic organizers for the lessons in the book. They are also now posted on Canvas. And don't forget, your PBIS store will be open this Friday in the cafeteria during lunch. So bring your first class tickets to purchase some cool, cool prizes. Hey, that's it for me. You guys enjoy the day, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks, Mr. Harris. Now it's time for the joke of the day. Why did a student bring an umbrella to class? I don't know why. Because he was brainstorming. <laughs> Stay extraordinary, Sycamore, and follow PBIS expectations every day. Have a wonderful week and go Waves!